Alrighty, if you've just become a happy owner of a brand new Arduino Uno or other Arduino from their family, which you have purchased for a ridiculously low price from places like eBay, AliExpress, or other variety of questionable websites, well, chances are you've just become an owner of a bootleg version of Arduino. Now, what is a bootleg version of Arduino? It is exactly the same thing as a regular Arduino, except it's been made by a different company, mainly because the original creators have released the blueprints for free. So anybody, uh, it's an open source blueprint. Anybody can really make their own Arduinos, especially companies with a lot of money. So this Arduino costs pretty much, well, three to five bucks, uh, as opposed to the official one, which costs probably 20 or 30. So you didn't want to give an arm and a leg, so you bought the cheap one, but Let's say uh, you just got your Arduino, you plug it in, and what happens? Your computer is installing the driver, and balls, it does not want to install the driver. Now, if you've done your research, you've gone to the official Arduino website and looked up the tutorial for the installation uh, of, the uh, of the drivers manually. Now, what you've done is you just installed the driver for the official version of the Arduino. Now... The difference uh, in price in the bootleg and the official version of Arduino is mainly because the bootleg uses cheaper parts. But sometimes cheaper parts means that parts are different, especially that little fucker right there. This is a uh, USB to serial conversion chip, which allows the Arduino, which is this is the heart of the Arduino, the Atmel microprocessor, which allows it to communicate with the computer via the USB. Usually it have to be programmed via a serial port if you were back in the day. So, um, I'm going to show you the wrong way to install the driver, which is probably what you've been doing all this time. You've just connected your Arduino. It shows up in the device manager, which I assume you already know how to get to. It shows up as a USB 2.0 slash serial. Now, it might be showing up as something different in your computer, depending on what kind of uh, components uh, the company that made your Arduino used. So... As long as your company used the same type of chip as here, then, uh, well, that would be that would be your solution. You've just found it. If you try to go through the tutorial and you try to upload the sketch, um, the tutorial that uh, you found on the Arduino website, uh, you're going to get a whole bunch of messages, like attempt uh, 1 out of 10, not in sync, resp equals 0xa7, whatever the hell that means, or something like device not found on USB or um, a serial port. Now, mind you, these messages might be caused by different kinds of problems. So if your problem is a different chip, then, uh, well, you just found a solution. If not, then I'm sorry you just watched this entire video without having anything achieved. So, um, welcome to the Arduinos, where problems might not be what they seem. Don't know who quoted that. Probably I did. Okay, so uh, you go to your device manager, you look USB 2.0 serial, or whatever it's called in your... Uh, in your place, I'm going to show you what you did just now before you stumble upon this tutorial. You right-clicked, update driver, just like the Arduino tutorial told you. You went, um, browse my computer for driver software. You pointed it to the driver folder of your Arduino installation. This ID Arduino, it comes with drivers, pretty nice. So, uh, click or de-click, you're going to get the same result. Uh, click next. It says, Arduino was unable to install the USB 2.0 serial driver. Balls. What happens next? You try the second solution. Update driver software, browse my computer, you go manual, select, and you select have disk. And you point it to the exact file, arduino.inf, which is the driver file for all your Arduinos. Okay, you pick cc or .org, whichever will give you nowhere. Or will get you nowhere. So you pick your Arduino Uno, yay, next, yay, and installing, and balls, something happened. Arduino Uno says Windows encountered a problem installing the driver software for your device, but it also says this device cannot start, code 10. Again, if you close, the name of the Arduino not changed. It's now called Arduino Uno COM, whatever your computer assigned to it. Mine is called COM8 because it's assigned to the free, first free port. You go to Arduino ID, Tools, Arduino Uno, select your board. If you go to Ports, it does not have COM8 in the list. So Arduino ID still does not see it. Now, it does not see it because you don't have the driver for this chip right here, which I will include in the description of uh, this video. Now, I'm also going to include the link of the original guy who posted this solution, which I have spent about a week trying to find. So this guy, Mr. Alexander D. Pelgrin, I believe that would be the gentleman's name, 
uh, was kind enough to provide the driver for the original for the chip's original manufacturer. I wish that picture was more high res so you could actually see the name. Anyways, uh, the no, this is number of the chip CH340 USB to serial chip. That's one's being used on your Arduino. So you download the link. I will also share my own link from my own Google Drive so that you, if this website by any chance goes down, you guys still have a backup link. Um, he's got the link for the original creators of the chip, uh, the developer, and uh, his own Google Drive sharing. Uh, shared folder, so you download it from there, download it from mine, whichever. So, what does that uh, what does that look like? Well, that looks like eh, meh, 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 this. Nope. Yes. Uh, it's a zip folder or RAR folder that has three folders in it. Uh, technically, this folder does not exist if you're in Mac or one of these. Linux, Mac, and Windows. So, what you do is you unzip your folder. I will unzip on the website, which is wrong because, well, computer reasons. So, what's inside? The chip name and install. Do not go into install because that's just a debugging software for the, uh, well, for the creators, I would assume. Because if you click on it, there's a whole bunch of stuff you will, well, never understand because you don't have the language. Alrighty, so you go back, select the, the name of your chip. And there's your setup. So you click run, and all you have is just one INF installation driver or one driver file. Click install, and what's gonna show? What's gonna show? It's gonna show. It's gonna show. <gasps> Something just happened. Driver install success. And there you go. Drive install success. Okay, you click OK. You click close. If you look in your drive in your uh, device manager, you will notice that the USB serial CH340 COM8 has replaced our USB 2.0 serial label. So, what happens now? Notice COM8. Go to Arduino IDE Tools. COM8 is now selectable in your Arduino IDE. So, uh, I believe I've already had a Blink program, Blinky Blinky Blink program, uploaded here. Go back to your Arduino, let's select the examples, basic Blink sketch. Close the original Arduino ID. And I just fucked it up. Oh no, never mind, here it is. Alrighty. I thought I closed the Arduino ID before I loaded the project. Okay, so, tools, Arduino Uno. COM8 or whatever your communication support was assigned. Uh, programmer ISP Mark II, this is the default one. And uh, well, let's see, let's uh, change this to 5 or no, 200. So that's. It would click faster. Alrighty. Upload and. <gasps> Something's happening. Oh, look, it's blinking faster. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go. 2000, which is two seconds. Click upload and and it's blinking two second intervals. There you go. So you got your drive installed. You now have your Arduino Uno. Uh, if you have purchased any other Arduino products uh, that are bootleg, as long as they're sharing the same chip. Um, the CH340 uh, USB to serial chip, then uh, this same driver should work for them. I also purchased a bootleg Arduino Due, which had a different chip. Uh, but if you guys, well, if you guys want a solution for that, maybe you can message me, see if I can, uh, can, can uh, <laughs> excuse me, make another video. Alrighty, I hope this worked for you. If it doesn't work, I really cannot help you unless I can have an actual physical uh, Arduino in my hands. In my hands! Alrighty. So, if it works, great. If it doesn't, well, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to keep looking. Welcome to the Arduino universe where problems must be found by yourself. Okay, uh, check out Retroactive Gamers on the website because, uh, on YouTube, because that is my and my friend's um, comedy gaming channel. Well, if you guys are into comedy and gaming, yeah, ready. Well, have fun.